Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you have pen and paper because I'm going to explain to you something that you weren't aware of. Undisclosed bunker location. We're back from the edge of the flat earth. Yeah, yes, yeah, so we peeked over the edge, took a couple selfies. We need to post that on. Uh, Still asking if the whole thing is like 500 years old and Game of Thrones has been around for 20. What was it called before then? Because you said Game Game of Thrones style. The Ace wall. Football. Yeah. Yeah, well. <clears throat> I, I don't know. I think before it, that it was called Prometheus style. Or <laughs> Prometheus style. Anyway, uh, yeah. this is another. This, it's similar to Flat Earth. We're gonna stay with the theme of conspiracies about our planet because they they intrigue me. Because what do we really know? I mean, have you ever seen the inside of the Earth? No, we have. Have you been to space? So how do I know that it isn't flat or hollow? Because when you're up in a plane, you can see the curvature of the Earth. You moron. <laughs> um, but no, like. Not not you, Jake, but you know. I know, not me. But, but truly, what do we know? Like, I mean, I, I, as far as I know, all the scientific things that have proven the Earth is full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> not literally, but stuff. Yeah, well, and that's... that's is measurements done, like, <laughs> on the surface of the Earth. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. And then they interpret the data, yeah. We're going to do hollow Earth. So we're going yeah. along the theme... This isn't going to be like Flat Earth where we have an ongoing series of episodes. This is just going to be a one-off. Uh, but still, it is a, a really fun and interesting topic, the Hollow Earth. Um, there's not as big of a movement uh, right now. It's died uh, Not out. as big as Flat Earth. No. There's still some people out there. Yeah. But uh, Flat Earth is a much bigger thing. So this is going to have a little bit less information than we maybe have had with the last and episode. And I was, was kind of disappointed when I started researching, because I really wanted to... I mean, there's to, still a lot there. There is, but I really wanted to hear, like, some sort of whacked-out, like, 14th century, like, you know, dude, like, you know, like, just writing some sort of, you know, like, well, there's evil demons who have sex with your knees. You know, like, <laughs> you know, you know, I mean, like, you know, like, the Grim, yeah. the original Grim fairy tales are, are, are horrifying. And you're telling me those guys couldn't come up with, like, well... <laughs> it's a there's hollow a, earth. There, yeah, there's a demon who eats the elves, and, and there's elves, and, you know, like something. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, to start with what hollow Shoot earth is. Shoot arrows in your dick. And, you know, <laughs> sorry. To quote author Rodney Clough, he says, quote, My conception of the hollow earth, based on my research, is that the shell of the earth is about 800 miles thick from the outside to the inner surface. Mm hmm Inner surface. Yeah. I like that idea. Yeah. He, also, the name of his book is World Top Secret, colon, Our Earth is, capital is, hollow. So, this is, we're already off to a great start here. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to just smile, and then it just, it just happened. It's, but this is the fun of the show. This is why I wanted to do this show, because. It doesn't help that. It's if so I if I seriously if we, if we look at each other we'll just die laughing for no reason. It, it's like I said, this is why we do this show. It's it's amazing the lengths people will go to try to explain everything, and mm -hmm. this is just one of them. But here's another quote: mm -hmm. "Suspended in the center of that hollow is an interior sun that is divided by day and night sides." The other part of the hollow earth theory is that near the north and south pole are substantial openings that lead into the interior. <laughs> huh. So. Interesting. It's not a flat earth, I'll give them that. <laughs> but you're trying to tell me there's this opening at the north and south pole. And it's got to be a sizable opening. It's a really tiny nuclear reactor. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's got to be... Inside the Earth. And half of it is just off. 
It's like half of it is burning and, and you know, all the nuclear chain reactions happening, just like the sun, because that's what's happening, because we believe in science, which is why we believe in hollow. <laughs> Wait a second. I just realized I was trying to talk to hollow earth people about science. <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny you mention that, because mm-hmm. let me introduce you to Edmund Haley. Yeah. Of Haley's This, is, this killed me, because when we were doing research, I saw that he Haley was like Comet. the- Haley's yeah, Comet. Haley's Comet. And I was, uh, and I realized that it wasn't named because he was smart. It was <laughs> named because he was like one of the first dudes who looked in a telescope and was like, "I think that's a thing." And people were like, "Whoa!" You know what I always think of when I think of uh, Haley's comet? What? I think of that s- fucking si- uh, Shine Down song. Oh, I God. just saw Haley's comet last night. <laughs> It was uh, shine down? Ama- yeah, I just I can't believe they were such a big like that song specifically. The name is so stupid. It was such sometimes goodbye is a second chance. <laughs> uh. Um, no, that's interesting because like we're about twenty years apart in age, and that's your generation. It's like I remember that song, but when I was younger, whenever I thought of Haley's Comet, I thought of Bill Haley and the Comets with <laughs> Rock Around the Clock. Oh, from like the fifties. We're gonna rock. Around mm-hmm. the clock tonight. Which is largely do, do, do. considered the first rock and roll song, song, which is really crappy of white people to say that a white person did the first rock and roll song because oh, it's a lie. White people didn't steal, steal that genre from black people? No. Dude. No. That's an, that's a, rock that's and an roll episode. Owes, yeah. Oh, my God. Let's not even go there. Let's continue. I, what? No, I'm saying like we will in another episode, but I was oh, about I thought you were I was about to expound like just slightly, but I know save how it. my save little, it for the episode. Yeah. My expansions um <laughs> can sometimes I don't know what the plural of expound. Just stop trying to say expound, man. It just mm. let's just move on with the story. So, right? so what about Edmund Haley? And um uh, Edmund Haley Interesting guy, you know, as we've discussed, mm-hmm. the inspiration for an amazing sh- uh, Shinedown song. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he proposed in 16 eight, or 1692 mm-hmm. as a way of explaining anomalous compass readings. So, like, his compass was getting wacky. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'll put this uh, article that we're using in the uh, description because uh, it's a good one. I got a lot of good information from it. Cool. I can't uh, read the title. You know, the thing about that story, though, is that's hard for me to believe is that at no point, you know, I I know that they omitted the part where he was in, like, the countryside and, like, ate a bunch of berries that he didn't know what they were. And and then his compass started going whole wacky. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) I like your version of the conspiracy. Oh, my name is... Was he English? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm assuming so if he was around in My name was Edmund Haley. My name is Edmund Haley. I'm hungry. What are these berries? Two hours later, what the hell is going on with my compass? I think this is acid. The trees are talking to me. Well, now it's just Lord of the Rings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> We, we're on to you, Tolkien. Speaking of that, hey, hey, nobody needs two middle names. J.R. Tolkien is fine. Or George R.R. R. Martin. Yeah, dude. Get, Come n- nice hat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Uh, all right, anyway. So he, he <laughs> got these wacky <laughs> compass <laughs> readings. <laughs> Just said it. Come back. Okay, what? <laughs> wacky compass readings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This so, is devolving fast. Haley developed a theory that the planet is a series of nested spherical shells. <laughs> <laughs> like a Russian nesting doll? Yeah, pretty much. Let's find out when those were invented and whether or not he had <laughs> one of those. What? What? What if it was like this for the planet? That's so weird. There's another doll inside that doll. Well, if that's how we get to the core of the Earth... <laughs> I'm not I'm not going to open any more dolls because I feel like I'll be here forever. It's an infinite doll. Welcome to space. <laughs> Infinity. That's that's the story of Jesus. <laughs> what? I don't know. 
It's a it's a Bill it's a David I just, Cross. Bit. I love how you rewrite these. It's a David. Theory. It's a David Gr- Cross bit. Okay, go. Sorry, go, go. <laughs> Sorry. I had a beard hair in my mouth. <laughs> what? You ever have that happen? Yeah. Just mustache hair. It right feels like you're like, wow. So is there something in my teeth? <laughs> and then you're like, oh, that's my beard. And or if you try and or if it's like a, you think it's like a little bit of pepper, and you try and chew it, and then you're like, that's hair. <laughs> Gross. So. He developed this theory that there's multiple nested spherical shells mm. spinning in different directions. So, yes, like a nesting do- Russian doll that, like, spins in opposite directions, if you can kind of make that. Right. He's trying to explain, like, the right. rotation of the Earth with, like, centrifugal force right. or something. And I think it's because of the magnetism of it. So Yeah, his I know science. In his estimation, based on readings on the magnetic field, mm. And what he knew about the gra- uh, gravitational pull of the sun and the moon on the yeah, Earth, yeah. this model could account for any inaccuracies in his readings. So that's how we incorporate real science into this conspiracy theory. Mm-hmm. What do you make of uh, <laughs> Haley's uh, theory here? I... Wow, man. <laughs> um, well, again, like, okay, you know, at the beginning of the episode, I, I did talk. Like, what what do we really know? Like, we've never seen the. You know, whenever when you were when we were kids, certainly you and me mm-hmm. at that point, scientists had enough of an idea of what the Earth is, the uh, Earth is made of, um, enough to put it like in a cross section in a textbook. Like, hey, you know, like, uh, and and you know, there's all these scientific anecdotal information. Like, well. You know how thin the Earth's surface is compared to the Earth? You know, like an egg? It's like the shell. And, like, the egg is like the crust. I, I understand where you're coming from on that level of versus flat Earth. I'm not going to think of flat I'm Earth. I'm not going to believe in his conspiracy theory if that's what you're asking. I'm not going to go, like, oh, that's a possibility because that just seems dumb. But that's, Science makes that's, more sense to me. Yeah, but that's still more reasonable than flat Earth. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. So I'll give Hollow Earthers credit on that. Sure. Yeah. But that's what I mean. It is kind of more interesting because of that idea that oh yes, the Earth is round, it is spinning, but there's something inside of it. Then oh no, it's just flat and it's surrounded by the wall from Game of Thrones. So uh, Haley, his strange idea, it it, it kept evolving over centuries. Um, there was they th- not by him. He wasn't immortal. <laughs> no, by obviously other people not. Who took, okay, gotcha. Yes, no. Other people's interpretation. It, it's like when any theory is out there in any form, it's like it's like the the shoe bit from Life of Brian from yes. be- behind the curve. Perfect. That's what this is like. Mm-hmm. People are adding things. They're taking things away. They're they're reforming the narrative. You call it the Bible. I call it too many cooks. <laughs> Who, by the way, weren't there, like, at all, like, like 90 years after the fact. Anyway. What a weird video. Yeah. We'll get into the Bible one of these days. Holy crap. (laughs) That's like a a year's worth of episode. Well, you know what? That'll be a (laughs) spinoff series. (laughs) What, we just read religious texts to each other? No, we just talk about how fucking crazy that stuff is. Yeah, all of it? Yeah. Sorry. I, yeah. We'll, We'll talk about it. Uh, so, yeah, as I said, they keep changing and morphing the ideas, and uh, the new view of Hollow Earth is accompanied with a theory of a small sun that hangs in the very center mm. and creates a lush, livable environment mm. a- on the uh, flip side of the Earth's surface. So, <clears throat> according to a number of Hollow Earth websites, this vision was developed among famous mathematicians and scientists such as uh Linhard, Linhard, I don't know. Le- Leonard. It's like Leonard but there's an h in there. Yeah, Leonard. Leonard. Uh Euler, the h is so in the 18th old. century and Sir, Sir John Leslie in the 19th century. So it it's getting for it's getting more modern, starting to 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 take a bigger shape. People are still dumb, but they're got, <laughs> but they got more advanced instruments, so It happens. Look at the theory I came up with. You're still just a fucking monkey with a little fucking stick, aren't you? <laughs> Look, I can use a stick to get ants out of the hole. 
<laughs> I'm using tools. <laughs> All right, so uh, as we go further, we're, let's get more modern. Sure. And let's talk about it now. So modern belief in Hollow Earth, um, it, there's, it's kind of varied. Uh, there's some saying that the Northern Lights and even escaping Hitler in, uh, believed in Hollow Earth and how that was incorporated. Um, the Germans did make it to Hollow Earth. They made a deal with the people in the Hollow Earth, so that's like the theory of them going to... Uh, was it South America uh-huh. after World War II? I didn't know that another uh, another term for the hollow earth theory was the Argentina theory. Uh, so it, there's a lot of... And that's or the paperclip gets, theory. We can talk about that one sometime. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh-huh. Uh, that gets kind of wonky That with with these conspiracy theories. Yeah, why, why do you got to add like, hey, let's add like Why are there Nazis tunneling yeah, into why? this? Yeah, why do you got to fuck it up like that, man? I don't want to go there now. <laughs> Um, you know, most, but most f- hollow earth go from the, the first guy I talked about, the more, it's very benign scientific conspiracy. approach. Yeah. It's, it's more benign. It's not this, it's not like demons oh, down there. there's dragons and lizards and Nazis. Which sucks. <laughs> okay. Nazis you can keep, but there should be dragons and lizards. And that's where the dinosaurs went. They went into the center. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what voice that was. Um, they went into the center. There's also a group of people that believe that inside the hollow earth, there's a lush tropical paradise, like like the Bahamas or or like Cancun or Miami, all you know those kind of places. Um, and it's very likely oh, that it ha- this is where we get into aliens. Oh, so it's very likely that it ha- um houses advanced race of humans, like and. Aliens and even giants. <laughs> I, you can't make me laugh. <laughs> I'm doing my best. <sighs> giants, eh? Yeah, <laughs> giants. Um, in most scenarios, the inhabitants are descendants of ancient race- races such as the Lumerians, or in Cliff's view, the Lost Ten Tribes of Israel. Oh, that's interesting. Guided there through the North Polar opening by God himself. That's good. Let's take a race of people that spend all their time in the desert and make them go through the North Pole. No matter where they came from, they are generally characterized You'd as think peace-loving po- and advanced far beyond our own. Uh-huh. They have flying saucer technology. Holy they shit. live lives of perfect health oh for God. hundreds of years. And their science is much, much more advanced because they live much longer lives. And there's ice cream every day for free. <laughs> and it never rains, and it's always sunny. Some of these conspiracy theories sound like just a 12-year-old, like, this is my, this, when I grow up, I want to be a police officer and a fireman, I want to live in a less tropical in a paradise in the inside of the earth, and there's going to be dragons, and there'll also be giants, <laughs> and also some and flying saucers. Like, no. And like, that's great, Billy. Now go clean the blackboard. All right. So here's more to this. Mm. The perfect Climate is believed to exist in the hollow earth, Uh and it is said to produce animals and people that are larger and far more healthy than those on the surface. There's also the belief that, I I know another theory that inside the hollow earth you are taller because there's less gravity inside the earth than there is on the outside. Tyler's shaking his head and laughing. Doesn't buy it. Why? Why don't you buy that? Because it's stupid. <laughs> I, I mean, look, part, okay, so part of the show, I think, I mean, to me, tell me if I'm wrong. Sure. But I'm, is I'm you listening. you kind of give me, like, the deets based on what you've done the research on. Yeah. And, and at no point do I think that you're like, dude, it's real, man. Check this out. I know that. Right. But sometimes I'm just like... I speak with such conviction. You're, you're supposed. You're. I'm supposed to just, just know that this is just nonsense. And I think I'm supposed to be the conscience of the show to be like that's bullshit. <laughs> but I don't know, because you're not like coming out going like, no, it's real, man. There's like giants and stuff. Why? Why don't you think about it? You don't know. I don't. But uh, you know, and that was the point I was trying to make, you know, earlier. But still, come on, man. Some of these, you know. <laughs> it gets better. 
and everybody has a Ferrari in a mansion. <laughs> perfect. It has the perfect temperature. And you never need gas. Produces and always larger tacos. <laughs> produces larger humans and animals. Uh, it Lakes has are a, made of nacho here's cheese. A, here's a quote from the book. Quote, it has a her, uh, perfect temperature. God made the inner sun so that it provides heat during the night and a little bit, a little bit less at night. Doesn't make any. I just read it and it doesn't make any sense. It says provides heat during the night and a little bit less. I at will night. give you light and heat, except for <laughs> at night you will need maybe a blanket. Maybe. Trees grow up to a thousand feet tall. <laughs> Humans even grow up to be fifteen feet tall. Shut up. Because of the Not ideal. You, just because of the ideal conditions, animal life grows really large. Also, the inner world is sometimes called or associated with. Agathara, uh, a legendary city at the Earth's core, often sh- uh, tied to Eastern mysticism. Like Shambhala? I was reading like, about that. Uh, what the is Buddhist. He, why would God make an outer shell, though? If, why, does it, why is he in this, the middle of... Why is you know, he inside the planet? Listen, it, I mean... I, 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 and he's not letting other people in. I don't understand Because it. we suck. Probably, uh, Humanity is really a blight. If I were God, I wouldn't let people into my paradise. No. I wouldn't do it. Giants, sure. Sure. People, Perfect alien human humans. beings. Ugh. But I'll hang out with some aliens. I'd love to hang out yeah. with some aliens. Yeah. Um, hey God, um, thanks for inviting us over to your place, but these humans are just awful. I mean they're just they're I like they, you guys because you're all like uh, Martian Manhunter, like super smart and cool. Why don't I go ahead and make a little paradise for you inside the Earth, and you'll stay stick around? Would you have sex with one of the uh, aliens? That's the question I always ask. Me? Yeah. Depends. <laughs> it, it maybe Are we it's compatible. I mean, like it, maybe it's because I played a lot of Mass Effect, but because you can have sex with alien women, I was like, yeah, I feel like Captain Kirk. I'm gonna cut that out. <laughs> um, I would totally do an alien chick. Absolutely. <laughs> um, well, I mean, you know, it kind of depends. Like, I mean, you know, I mean, for all okay. Of like, the theories, I like this. I would like, like this one. The human, most. Di- different life forms. I mean, for all we know, like, you know, like a different life form. Like the male has like a a, a chitinous like carapace, a carapace over like his his whole body. And 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 when the uh, male and female make love, like an acid comes out of the m- female's vagina, and and it's just powerful enough to melt the carapace off the penis of the male, and that's how babies are born. But if I put my dick in that vagina, the acid is just gonna eat right away at my poor penis. So there's that to consider when you're asked. It's a loaded question, Jake. <laughs> What is wrong with you? <laughs> a chitinous shell. <laughs> like fingernails. <laughs> Good lord, man. You just derail the whole show. Living in a movie. What? <laughs> so you found out about the paradise that is the, the hollow earth. Sure. Now, the, here's another theory where it's not paradise. <laughs> Ooh, good. All right, so. These are the kinds I like. Yes. In this version of the the Hollow Earth, uh, this was a home to all manner of super race of people. So these big, strong people. Um, excuse me, I had a burp. And uh, it, it started this conspiracy, and it was worked to cover up the existence of Hollow Earth. So they're like, there's people on the surface they can't know about us. Where we got to get out and and kill. I'm I'm assuming they're gonna be like, oh, they killed them because of Hollow Earth. You know that whole idea, right? Um, it's this is kind of more towards the modern Hollow Earth and the 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 ones you might find now. I honestly can't think of uh, any Hollow Earthers. There's no like famous people, hmm. and I mean, if I'm being honest, I don't associate with well, flat earthers either so right. i guess I get, yeah what but, do i know well most of what <laughs> i know about it is honestly from like movies and stuff you know i mean i don't it's not like somebody came out like you know robert de niro was like 
You talking to me? <laughs> so, you talking to me? The earth is hollow. This gets even weirder when we talk about Admiral Henry Richard Byrd. Yeah. No, uh, wow. wow. He, had a, he had a secret journal <laughs> that was called the secret journal. <laughs> So not the not the not the smartest move. I anymore. like ponies. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a secret. Don't tell anyone. Don't. Sh- but I'm going to publish it. I'm an admiral after it's all. It's a book that I'm releasing, but don't tell anyone. Uh, he claimed to be the first person to fly over the North and South Pole. Awesome. So Bur- from his secret him. journal yeah. in 1947, it included a report of flying into one of the sim holes. That's S Y M M E S. I'm assuming that's the name for the holes in the north and on the north and south poles. <laughs> I can see you get visibly angry as I'm explaining this. To no, you. no, I just put my. I literally. I hope it comes through, but I put my nose like on the mic and just sighed into <laughs> it because like, it's, it's getting to the point of. Come yeah. on, this is. Where did you get? Where did you fall off on this one? Because I noticed <sighs> there's ones where you start open-minded and then about halfway through you get very. <laughs> <laughs> so where did you angry. start to it's lose just, it with this? It's one? more just like it's more like come on, like let's come up with something like good, you know? Like, I mean, clearly, clearly, most conspiracy theories like this are made up by people who are desperate for attention. You know, they're just like, oh god, you know, I'm just, I wish I was, I wish, I wish that I was like really meant for something great. I wish that I was unique. I wish that I was different. You know what? The Earth is hollow. Wow, that's unique and different. I've never heard anybody say that. Mission accomplished. And then a bunch of other idiots are like, oh, that's a good thing. And then we're all friends and shit. <laughs> Let's have conventions and crap so we're it not always, lonely it anymore. Ends so up we're angry. not lonely anymore. You're always and that's so fine because you know what? Humanity is meant to like be with other humans. All I right. get that. So anyway, yeah. so, he's, so he's saying that he's flown over the North and South Pole. Sure. Um, and he, he said this was covered up. And through the mid two thousands into the early twenty tens, the book that we mentioned earlier from uh, Clough, I don't even remember his first name. Me neither. Uh, but he was actually a part of a long gestating expedition known as the North Pole Inner Earth Expedition. I read about that a little bit about that. Huh. So this is great. So unfortunately, after a number of setbacks, including backers and members of the team falling victim to calamities ranging from cancer to a fatal plane crash. I, I feel bad for these people because that is so crazy. Like, I mean, okay. Well, a plane crash? That's cancer I, is a little bit more believable because that can happen to anyone. No, no, I mean, like, but like I mean, a plane how crash. long was the whole expedition that it took? Well, like, I mean, we're getting there. Uh, so, and the expedition was put on hiatus. Had the expedition been successful, the team would have ha- would have chartered one of the world's largest ice-breaking ships straight to the North Pole, hmm. where they would have attempted to contact the Denzians of the Hollow Earth through the hole they believe that they would find. Clough believes that the various setbacks of the project are the work of the international banking conspiracy. That's a whole other thing. <laughs> <laughs> Along with the Masons and the Illuminatis and the Templars, Knights Templar. <laughs> yeah, you get you gotta have those Knights and Templar, the mob. Nazis, the mob, and, and the mob, <laughs> the <Nazis>. Yakuza, <laughs> or the Yakuza, the Yakuza. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, the flaming fist of the Pacific Northwest. He said that it was the work of the I- international banking conspiracy, but is hopeful that they will someday be able to get funding and a new expedition. So they don't really specify how long the exposition took but um i mean i i i I also i know i understand enough about cancer to know that there are some types you can be you know hey we just diagnosed you and then like a week later you can be dead i know that right but still i mean it's just kind of like that's odd see oh so maybe you're starting to buy into a conspiracy no yeah i can see the look on your face Give me your give me your conspiracy of that. What happened? What do you mean? What you just explained. The people like it's kind of weird. They all they plane no, crash. No, that's not what I meant. I meant like I I was meant that as like wow, that sounds like a lot of BS to oh. me. Oh, <laughs> you don't believe it? <laughs> oh, I went to total. Wait, are these people direction. that happened to them before they went on the expedition? 
yeah. I, it, I thought you were saying that's ha- what happened to them on the expedition. No, no. This stuff happened and kept putting it on hiatus. And then were they I, were never able to do it. They lost funding. Were I to believe this conspiracy theory, and we talked earlier about the, um, you know, Aurora Borealis is what the technical term for the Northern Lights is. I prefer Aurora Borealis to Northern Lights. It sounds smarter. <laughs> <laughs> so, but we talked about that earlier and right how it's way. like maybe coming from the inside of the earth or it's right. over the hole or whatever. I thought you were saying that maybe like to get through the hole, you have to go through the Aurora Borealis. Go through the Northern Lights into the hole? Oh, maybe. And that's full of like gamma who's, rays Who's and to shit. say? Who's to say that we can't go inside our hollow earth, you know? I would think that you should be able to. <laughs> there's a there's one more thing I wanted to talk to you about, um, and I'm trying to find more information on it. But th- there was a whole belief, uh, because of course everything has to tie back to Nazis, right? Uh, there and was a belief first. that the Third Reich believed in the Hollow Earth and believed in the idea. Of this core. Now, I'm not for sure what exactly. I think well, they, there was a there was a lot of mystic. They were interested there's a lot of in a lot occult of mystic, stuff yeah. with Nazis, but I I think this one was m- more geared towards the aliens. Like they thought aliens were inside the core, and then they started building building tunnels to tunnel into the Earth. Man, I'll bet. Hey, listen, I I know a lot of a lot of uh, enemies of the uh, a lot of the countries that were being overrun by the Nazis were like aliens must have made those V2 rockets what the hell for the for their time V2 rockets Whoa. yeah well unlike <laughs> that's why they brought so many of them over but yes unlike um, flat earth this th- conspiracy to me while it is still unbelievable mm-hmm. it still has a little bit more credibility because it accepts that the earth is round but then when you start to get the idea that there's an advanced human race and mm-hmm. aliens and... Well, again, it sounds like a 12-year-old who's like, when I grow up, you know, like, that's how I want to live. You know, I want to have a big ma- mansion and have a lot of girl, you know, and all that. All it sounds years. like... It's like, well... It's like a Star Trek episode before Star Trek existed. That That's what it seems like to me. Like, they go to this of, yeah. weird planet it's where cool. there's I mean, a hollow shell around it. If, if you want to talk about likability, I guess... Which is weird to talk about a conspiracy and like a person, but <laughs> that's how we, that's how we should do episodes is random like the likability of, of it. this conspiracy is far greater than the than the flat Earth one. I think you could go around in polite society today, yeah, or tomorrow, and be like, I believe the Earth is hollow, and not nearly get the kind of ostracized ostracization. That's, I, that's a fucking word, and I made it up. Uh, that the flat. I, I, un- I understand clearly, what you're saying yeah. because again, it it gives it gives it a diff- a little bit more level of credibility because it's, it's not more, saying the Earth is a more, flat disc. Right. It's more generally accepted that the Earth is a globe than the other way right. around. Right. But I don't think most people think about the inner inside of the Earth very much. I don't think. Well, and do it, you? But here's the thing about how I, I, I don't. You told me about yeah. Like, no. Wh- but when when you're taught in school about the planet, it's a because it, it's not that far off from hollow Earth because it is a co- there is a core. It's a liquid magma. Yeah, a liquid core that is essentially well. There's an iron core, and there's just layers surrounded and by layers yeah and crust mm. and all this stuff in the inside of the planet. A lot of radiation on the inside of the planet. Yeah, so you could see where that idea could come from because the basis of it is there is a core. But these people are like, but we don't. There's, it's carved out, man. It's like the, it's like a, it's like an Easter rabbit. Understood too. Hey, which are uh, disappointing. You know what? Here's the a great ones, way. To <laughs> hate them. Anyway, go on. Here's a great way to make sure that nobody can ever disprove our conspiracy theory. The inner core, or the inner <laughs> shell, is 800 miles. Nobody will be able to take that far. <laughs> Like, you know, and how far, I mean, I really don't know. We should probably research, probably research this at some point, but when how far has humanity been able to dig into the core, like to this point in human well, history? That's the thing. That's is, a good question. 
we've never been. Uh, we, if this, I don't believe we've ever even been through the even close to being through the mantle. It, I can understand to a level how it could be hard to discredit because you're like, we haven't been into the core of the planet. I know that there's thoughts like, well, we should go through the ocean floor because that's a lot less stuff to go through. But then how do you get a drill down there that's going to work without crushing on itself because of the pressure? Right, exactly. It's something that we'll probably never, ever find. Sucks. And that's why. And, I, and let's that's, get an icebreaker. Go to the North Pole. Let's do it. But it goes back to what I say. That's how people explain this stuff. Is they have to idea. build this story. What horror movie idea? An expedition goes to the North Pole to find the Denzians. And the Earth actually is. And hollow. they actually get a hold of them. Everybody thinks they're crazy. They actually get a hold of them. And at first, they're nice. It's like, but, but then, it's a whole city. But then they eat people. It's like a whole. It's like descendants on steroids. Thank it, God the humans found us. We were hungry. And then it's like doom, and they get shotguns. And shoot all these demons i like this movie we're gonna do it there you go hollow earthers we'll make a movie if you fucking steal that we'll make a movie for you (laughs) a grindhouse like hollow earth movie we could totally do a low budget like a lot of styrofoam yeah (laughs) so you wanted to tell me your own personal conspiracy tied to the hollow earth kind of uh so. (laughs) so we we started researching for this, yeah. and um, like the next day, uh, we work together, so we see each other a lot uh, during the week. Yeah. <clears throat> and the next time I saw you, I was like, hey, you know, there's not a lot of stuff for the Hollow Earth, and it's kind of boring. So I thought we would, you know, I had no idea about all this other stuff that you talked about this episode, and that's why I thought, you know what, it would be fun to make up one of our own. Right. So... I thought we could have this idea that uh, that this German hat maker in like the the 14th century, named Gustav Faltiger Schwanz, which is German for wrinkly dick, <laughs> came up and he wrote a treatise. A treatise. About, what is a treatise? It's uh, like it's a manifesto type of thing, and I'm oh. no, I'm probably using it wrong, and I don't give a shit. I was sh- just saying, just say manifesto. Sure. <laughs> Because I didn't know what a treatise it's was. It's an idea. Well, it's an idea that says, like, hey, to the world, like, this is what I think, and this, th- you know, yeah, no, yeah. other scientists prove it or whatever. Yeah. But he's a hat maker. <laughs> you know, hey, back in those days, man, like, you know, dentists cut your hair and shit. So, you know what? All right. Sure. But he made, he wrote a, uh, the funnest part of this was that uh, coming up with the idea of that he wrote something and what it would be called and being able to say it in German. Because German is a fun language. It is when, fun. When you, when you, it's even when better when it's angry. When you're actually saying something, if you're just like, Eine kleine Schleine, like it's kind of dumb. But when you're angry and it's pointed, it just seems like it's... it's and you actually have words in front mean. of you. It feels worse. It feels angrier than normal. So German hat maker Gustav Baltiger Schwanz nailed sure. to the door of his Lutheran church, <laughs> much like Martin Luther would or did earlier or later. I'm not sure when that happened. <laughs> <laughs> when the fuck is the Reformation? Great. So, <laughs> and it was titled... Great start. Die Erde ist hohl und meine Frau betrugt mich mit dem Papst und jetzt hasse ich Jesus. <laughs> Which is German for the earth is hollow and my wife is cheating on me with the Pope and now I hate Jesus. Oh, okay. So how did he discover the hollow earth? Because he made a deal with the devil to destroy the Pope. Because he was sleeping with his wife. And the devil was like, <laughs> before I kill the Pope and then take your immortal soul, let me show you something crazy, man. And then he pulled out this guitar. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he just... Fast car. Slow car. <laughs> oh, my God. It's just going to be wheezing for the next <laughs> ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Fast car, slow car. No, you know, have you seen that Will Ferrell <laughs> SNL sketch with Garth Brooks? <sighs> where he's, okay, Garth Brooks is like playing the struggling songwriter and he's trying to come up with like <laughs> this music. And Will Ferrell, as the devil, like all made up with all the prosthetics and shit, comes in. He's like, oh, I'll write you a song. He's like, you give me your immortal soul. And like every song he tries to come up with is just horrible. <laughs> like, fast car, slow car. So. So the devil's doing that. 
<laughs> to the German man. Right up the pooper. <laughs> I don't know where it, why it had to go that but way. Did he take so <laughs> he pulled out a guitar and sang him a song about Hollow Earth? He just started jamming, dude, just wailing. Like he was and he had no idea what he was listening to because electric guitars wouldn't be around for centuries. <laughs> it was a loot. <laughs> he was just like it was like the gods were screaming at me. And I liked it. It was awesome. It was awesome. You know, it was even better when, like... <laughs> <laughs> this is its own thing. This isn't even anywhere near Hollow Earth. And then, and then the devil introduced him to heroin. <laughs> and he was chasing the dragon. And he fell through a hole. And then he actually found the Hollow Earth. And that's where he remained. To this very day. Wow. I didn't even know. I couldn't find that in any of my research. I'm Fireworks? I'm amazed you, you, you did that. Fireworks? That's Gustav trying to contact us. Those are not really. You really think that we could come up with stuff that's going to explode in the sky just like that? Come Save on. that for the 4th of July episode. Fireworks right. aren't real. <laughs> Fireworks are smoke signals <laughs> by a dude in the middle of the earth who's addicted to heroin. powerful so that has been another episode of tinfoil radio <laughs> i tried my best to be smooth on that transition and you just that was good. laughed that was in good, my face that was a good transition it was great it's just i was laughing more at, like the ridiculousness of like myself yeah i oh man did you hear that it's hit puberty <laughs> yeah. yeah g scoob i like it <laughs> That's how Gustav sounded. <laughs> the devil. The devil's going to take yeah, my soul. The devil. The devil's <laughs> going to take my soul. It's a fucking Nazi Kermit or something. Yeah, this is what it sounds like. <laughs> or Bert and Ernie. Is Jesus, Einus Kleinest. <laughs> Jawohl. I hate how good you are at German. Me too, sometimes. You should just curse more in German. Scheisse, Scheisse, Scheisse. But I don't know what I don't know what the F word is. Google Translate. Uh, fuck, fucking, 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 fuck, fuck. Well, we're 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 awesome. rambling here at the end. So mm-hmm. this has been another episode of Tin Foil Radio. Right up the pooper. Talking about parts of Hollow Earth. Like I said, there's there's more, but um, <laughs> we we just wanted to kind of focus on a few things and not because we could go down a rabbit hole with this will you stop you're distracting me <laughs> talk about a rabbit hole <laughs> okay yes what's our next for homework for the people next week did well, we decide yet we haven't we decided, haven't decided okay. yet shoot so uh We'll get to that in a second. Okay. So uh, I was enjoying doing this, but we we could do Hollow Moon, but I feel like we're going to hold off on that. I want to do Hollow Moon at some point, mm. but I just, you know, Flat Earth, Hollow Earth, that's Hollow Moon, uh. it's just too much. We could kind of, yeah, and you know what? We could tie that Hollow Earth into, like, you know, Moon Landing was fake type shit. Oh, Hollow Moon? We could tie that into, like, yeah, one we, episode. Yeah, we could do something with that as well. Guess why the footprints are still there. There's no wind on the moon! Let's, uh... Let's do something more with space, right? With aliens. The final frontier. Let's talk about the Denver airport. Are you familiar? Ross was asking me about that today. Oh, the Denver I am, airport. I'm not that familiar with it. I, I live there, oh, which is funny. We're going we're gonna to go on a trip because... Uh, but I, I'm... I'm you, yeah. There's a lot to the Denver airport. So that will be the next episode. And I, really, I, I encourage you to read up on it because... It's gonna be it's gonna be a wild episode. Wacky weird yeah. stuff. Yes, it is what this show is all about. So remember, oh, uh, we should plug uh, loud opinionated YouTube channels where you can find full episodes. We'll just put it all up there if you want to listen to it on YouTube. Uh, you can get us on Spotify, Apple, pretty much anywhere you get your podcasts. You can get us there. And um, yeah, thanks so much for listening. But remember, if you've already, if you hear this now, we're already dead. What is my problem?